So we have our home screen, we have what to watch, featured free if you're looking for some free content, live TV if you want to stream live TV channels right there, you can do that. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your brand new on Roku TV, specifically the 42 inch 1080p version. If you're interested in this TV or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Now let's go ahead, let's get this TV set up. So the first step in setting up your TV is obviously getting it out of the box. Once you have it out of the box and unwrapped, we need to install the stand. The stand comes with two identical leg pieces and four screws, two screws per piece. Here's where you're gonna install the stand right here. It's only gonna fit one way. We have one angled corner. So if you try to do it any other way, it's not gonna fit down in there. So go ahead and line it up like you see right here. Take two of the screws, drop them in place and use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten everything down. Repeat that step on the other side. And this is what it's gonna look like once you have both legs installed. It's gonna be firmly fastened in place. All right, so the TV's standing up nicely behind me. Now we need to go ahead and install the two included AAA batteries in the remote control. Plus, minus, plus, minus put the cover back on. Now we're ready to plug in our TV and power it on. So we have the TV plugged in, powered on. Here's the first screen you're gonna be at where you need to select your language in order to get started. So we wanna choose English. Next, we're gonna choose our country, the United States. Now we have a couple options to set this up for store use or home use. We're gonna set it up for home use right here. Now it's scanning for our internet connection. So it'll populate what local networks are available. Go ahead, choose your network, enter your password and continue. We just connected to the internet and now it's found a software update. Go ahead, if you have the option to update the software, now's the best time to do it. So follow the prompts on screen. It should take around a minute or so, depending on your internet connection. After your TV updates and reboots, this is the screen you're gonna be at where you're prompted to enter an email address. In your inbox, you'll find an email that looks just like this, where you need to click the activate device button. It's gonna open up. Here we go. We have the first screen where we're gonna choose to name our device. So we're gonna leave it as 42 inch on Roku TV. We're gonna select its location right here. Agree to the terms of use, select continue. Next, we have the ability to set up Roku Pay. This is optional. Again, you do not have to enter credit card. You don't need one to set this up. So you can, or you could link PayPal. Again, this is if you wanna, you know, sign up for streaming services or buy or rent movies. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm not a robot. Skip this step. Next, we have some additional questions. So they're gonna install our previous channel since I'm already a Roku user. If not, you'll be prompted to pick out some streaming channels you want. And we have the ability to answer more right here, some more questions and choose other services. I'm gonna select skip. I'm gonna go down the bottom, but there's lots of stuff you can add if you want. It's kind of like airlines, right? Where they just have a bunch of extra stuff you don't necessarily have to do. I'm gonna select continue because you can do all this from your TV at a later date. And there we go, we have four free trials if we want to accept or see any of those offers right there. But I'm gonna go ahead, go to the very bottom here, select continue. And you may notice setup is now complete and on our TV, it's starting to populate the apps for us. And pay attention, they got some really clever and funny little taglines down there. But our setup's finished. We have the option to install the Roku mobile app. I highly recommend doing that if you wanna to listen to the audio from the TV in your phone. You can do that right there, which is cool, or use your phone as a remote control. And we have some additional setup tutorials, tips and tricks, things like that. But that's it. Now we just have to wait for the TV to finish setting up and then we'll be at our home screen. Whoops, one extra step where we have to connect all of our devices. So in this case, plug everything in and then let them know everything's plugged in. It's gonna scan and search for devices. It's not gonna find anything. I have nothing plugged in. So we'll be prompted to label every port. So nothing, nothing, nothing. But you get the idea here. So if you have a PlayStation plugged in, an Xbox, a cable box, whatever it may be, you can do that right here and label everything. Now for me, if you plug in like a PlayStation 5, it's smart enough, it will label that for you automatically, which is cool. And now we're all done. So let's go ahead. Here we go. We're gonna have a little welcome let's video. Get, streaming. get to know your new Roku TV in about a minute. We'll start with your remote. 
Press home at any time to return to the home screen. Back always returns to the previous screen. And star shows additional options. Press this button while streaming to see the options menu. Press and hold the mic button on voice remotes or the free Roku mobile app to search for entertainment, control your streaming, and more. Now let's check out your home menu. Visit streaming channels to find your favorites and discover new ones. Search to see where to stream things for free or at the lowest cost. Featured free for quick access to free TV. And be sure to check out the Roku channel for more free, live, and premium entertainment. For more information and other cool features, visit the Tips and Tricks channel on your home screen. And that's it. Happy streaming. All right, there we go. What a nice video. Now we're at the home screen, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this in a little bit more detail. So on the left hand side of the TV, we have all of our menu options. So we have our home screen. We have what to watch featured free if you're looking for some free content, live TV if you want to stream live TV channels right there, you can do that. The buzz, discover what's hot and trending. Search option, very easy to navigate and search for whatever content you're looking for. Movie store, self-explanatory. TV store, same thing. Streaming channels, this is where you can find any streaming apps that you want and channels and you can browse different categories. My feed, so it's changing to save list as you can see. So any show you find while searching and browsing, you can add to save list. Then we have our settings for our particular device. We're not gonna go over all the details here, but I'll show you each individual option. Network, remotes and devices, theme, accessibility, TV picture settings, TV inputs, audio, parental controls, home screen. Here's payment method options if you wanna add any. Apple AirPlay and HomeKit if you want to set that up. This is where you're going to do that. Legal notices, privacy, help. And we have our system settings. Quickly go through these. So control other devices. This might be important to you. CEC to set up any compatible devices. Screen mirroring. Here's where you find software updates. Guest mode. Maybe you're using this in like an Airbnb. You have a guest mode option and our advanced system settings. If we ever need to conduct any sort of reset or refresh, we can do that right here. Now we're back to the beginning. Last thing I wanna show you is on the home screen. Yours will look completely different depending on the apps that you have downloaded. I wanna show you how to move the apps around. So press the star button on the remote control and we can move the channel right here. So let's say we wanna make that our top channel. There we go. Press the star button again, and we have the option to remove the channel. So bye-bye Roku Kids channel. There we go. Very easy to customize this menu and layout however you want. Now there's nothing left to do. Your TV's all set up and ready to go. Absolutely so it's it time for you to enjoy.